Hello everybody, and welcome to today's demonstration. I'm going to be taking you some of Space Claim's new 2D to 3D functionality and showing you how that works. So I'm going to start today by making our entire design in the context of our drawing sheet. But just so we can see all the 3D geometry updating the whole time, I'm going to bring our 3D design window and anchor it in the bottom right hand corner, just so we can see everything that I'm creating as I create it. So next we can change the format to a D size so we have a little bit more room to work and anchor our views into the correct locations. So today I'm going to be making a rough outline of a differential just so we can see how it all works and we'll start by sketching our uh, basic outline for a transmission. So I want you to notice as I sketch our first lines in our top view we can see that they have a depth and as I finish off our sketch and snap to our last point, notice a solid is automatically created. So instead of having to sketch a solid and extrude that out, we can now do that as one operation. A similar action with our cylinders here. As I create our drive shaft and then the pinion gear on top of it, we can see how that automatically updates. We can see how the views on the top and the right update as well as our 3D design in the bottom right hand corner. Once we have our basic outline, the last thing that I'll need to create is our, uh, <clears throat> is our axle, just so we can see how far up that's going to be, and we can base the rest of our design off of this. So now that we've created this, the next thing we need is our ring gear, and inside that we'll house our planetary gear and our sun gear. So again, we can snap to different geometry on the model. And as I create this design, I can also create geometry and cut geometry away. And you can see it a little bit better in the 3D design in the bottom right-hand corner. But now let's add some detail to these designs. Because our pinion gear really needs to be conical instead of a straight cylinder. So I can go through and select edges and pivot them out to get that new angle or draft that we need on the model. But if I need to do something more complicated, I can maybe copy an edge up and then put the pivot on so we can maintain a flat surface that's planar and then get our drafted surface off of that. So now let's create some of the gears on the inside. And I'll start by just sketching some surfaces in 3D. Once I have the surfaces we need, we can drag on them and extend them into a solid. So that's one way we can create our base outline for a gear. But another way we can do it is to use a cylinder like we have before. And we can start by sketching it. Maybe we'll snap to the different geometry on the model. So we can get those precise values without having to go through and measure it. And once we're ready, we can pivot that back in and get it the same angle as our first gear that we've already made. And now that we have our two components, instead of trying to sketch them all over again, let's just make a quick copy of them. So I can select them and drag them and create the new copy components off of them. Alright, excellent. If we want to check out our designs, we can go to, to our scroll bar and look at our design on the right and our top view of the design, all by using the bars on the bottom and right portion of the screen. So the last thing we need to do to finish off the differential is to add a carrier shaft that goes between the ring gear. Excellent. So we have our basic components made but it's a little bit difficult to see them. So let's go through and change some of the colors on the different components just so we can see them a little bit better in our cross-section view that's on screen now. And we'll go through and change our sun gear to yellow, as well as our drive shaft, I mean axle. Alright, so it appears that we have a bit of an interference going on with some of the components that we've made. So I should probably go through and cut the different material away that's intersecting. So we'll use our carrier shaft as a cutter object to get rid of that intersection. And we'll actually combine our sun gear onto the axle and we can split away the difference just like that. Two clicks of a button. We probably need to extend our axle out a little bit. I was a little hasty with my first sketch. 
That's a good thing about Space Claim. You can always update your design whenever you need to. And the last thing I'll construct is a <clears throat> is our casing for the entire thing. So we'll start by making our first cylinder. Maybe we'll go through and add some material, cut some material away before finishing with the rest of the design. So I'm probably going to extend this a little bit closer to our differential and then I can start to go in and construct some 3D lines. And we can see how it automatically revolves all the way around. We can finish this off by constructing the rest of our lines and we can even snap to the lines on screen so we can automatically make them parallel. And once I close our sketch by going back to the original solid, we have our 3D geometry which we can go and modify as much as we need. But now I also need to have a, a casing on the right side connected to it. So I want to copy some of the geometry that we've already constructed. Maybe split a few of the surfaces and drag our new geometry to the right side of the model. And we can extend it if we need to a little bit closer to the model. And we'll go ahead and sketch some more 3D lines. So in addition to sketching the lines upwards to the left, we can also go back and even around the corners of them. You can see it pretty good in front of you, but you can also see it in the bottom right hand corner as I turn that surface into a solid. So we need to construct this a little bit differently. We can fill it in and combine our two casings together and even snap some of the lines up to different geometry that's already on the model. And while we're here, we'll get rid of the interference between our carrier shaft and our outer casing. We'll delete the, delete the top interference and the bottom. But to actually machine this, we'll need to create a, a little bit of a split in between it, which we can eventually bolt together or maybe weld together. So we'll make our cutter line and we'll split our part by the new cutter we've just created. And so we can see the two different parts on screen. But to see it a little bit better, we'll go ahead and change one of the colors to cyan. So now we've finished our basic outline for a differential. We can see it in 3D as I zoom out. We can also see that we've created all of these solids in the context of our drawing sheet by making the lines in 2D and making them automatically appear in 3D. Because as you see here, we've been working in 3D the whole time whether we're in our drawing sheet or in our 3D design window. Thank you very much for watching.